everyone and welcome to our last get together of 2021. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. And to be honest, we haven't moved on any further than we had a couple of years ago, but never mind. Let's not get bogged down in all that nastiness that's going on everywhere let's just be thankful that we have each other um and our lovely little group and it's grown throughout the year we have some new people um of, of course that's what happens to groups but they've if they've wanted to they've really integrated well and now they're our friends as well so we've got more friends than we had last year excellent right i'm going to be dealing with edith today but there's a bit of overlap because there's some Timmy involved as well. Don't let that put you off. It's not grungy Timmy. <laughs> it's clean Timmy. <laughs> anyway, this is what we were doing last time. But before I get into that, I just want to go through this because I think Terry, and I'm not sure if anybody else is following along with this Edith um, trifold, but I didn't actually make this on video. Uh, I, I sort of never intended for it to be you know, a step-by-step -step thing. Um, but I think Terry at least wants to know kind of what what's going on here. So uh, this is the front cover and that flap there is, um, let me tell you, it's three inches. This is three inches here with two acetate windows. The whole thing overall measures, uh, what would be help? Um, Nine inches, nine inches from top to bottom, which is about the size of the Edith books because I didn't really want to cut anything off. Um, this here is a side pocket. Um, and I made a, well, I collaged all around the outside and then I put a square in the centre with a, a sticker, yes, on it, and a couple of stamps and that's that, but I really like that. It turned out really nicely, I think. So that lives in there. Um, and then this, does that flip out? Yeah, this, yeah, that comes out. This flips out and I've got this big frame here with an acetate, this is acetate window in there. And then here I've got stack pockets, two stack pockets. And I'm going to take these tags out because at the end I want to mix all the tags up. So as, um, you know, one particular part of it doesn't have more of any particular type. So that is ticking from my porch prints. I think it's called yellow and green ticking, that's it. This is wallpaper border. Um, then what happens? Does anybody know? That folds that way. Um, this is a big pocket on here and this was taken from I think a German yeah in fact I'm pretty sure it's a German copy of Edith which is actually smaller as you can see this is the size of the page and I quite like that because it then means I can make pockets out of it which is good and I've just uh, stamped just onto some cream card and just put these little things in under the pocket and I've put a tag in there which is same sort of idea. It's collage, a sticker and a, and a label. So I'll take that out as well. And then that folds out that way. And we've got this diagonal pocket here and it's got some tags in it. These ones are all sort of collaged. In fact, they're not sort of collaged. They are collaged um, with some stamps on them. Some I've stamped onto cream paper, just cut round and stuck those on. Um, that one's just stamped directly onto the paper. So I'll take, oh, excuse me, I'll take all of these out and then we know where we're at. Um, that is from one of the little um, nature notes. There's nature notes, there's garden notes. Is it cookery notes? Something like that. There's three books that are much smaller. Could, could you just pass me one up, please? Ooh, that's Mr. F. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. There is a cookery one as well. Yeah. So this is the German one. So you can see it's actually much smaller than the other Edith ones, but it's in pristine condition. Pristine. And as you can see, the pictures are smaller, which is jolly useful. So that's that one. Thank you. And then these two, the garden notes and the nature notes, they're more diaries, really. 
they have you know the days of of the month etc and the text isn't the same old edith text but it's still nice um and you see on the diary days they have pictures in the corners and that's the sort of thing that i've used here with the daisy thanks mr F. thank you so i'll take that out as well and that's just a little flip flop just an envelope and then here i've got some tiny little ones uh, that have been stamped take everything out that's another one from that book with a little chaffinch in the corner um, this here needs a journal card behind it it hasn't got that far yet and is that it I think that might be it yeah that's the back yeah that's it right and I just attached some ribbon on the back because that will be what actually goes into the the um what do you call it book cover yeah book cover <laughs> oh that was a hard one wasn't it to remember that i see that Roz was wishing everyone a happy hogmanay and Johnny was asking what is hogmanay and i know you've looked it up on uh, google but hogmanay is this day it's it's New Year's Eve um, and it's kind of a much bigger do in Scotland than actually New Year's Day because everybody goes out on Hogmanay, gets hammered and they're just feeling slightly under the weather on New Year's Day. <laughs> so New Year's Day kind of doesn't really exist much in Scotland. <laughs> the early hours of it do, but after that, no, it fades away a little bit. Um, and there's there's all sorts of kind of traditions around Hogmanay. Um, there's a thing called first footing, which is um, the first person to go through the door of of a house on New Year's Day. So after midnight, after the bells, as we call it in Scotland, um, they ought to be carrying a piece of coal. <laughs> I think that tradition may have died out a little bit, I'm not sure. Um, but it signifies, I don't know, that your house is going to be warm all year. I've no idea. Good fortune, good luck, whatever it is. But if you are the first footer, then um, you carry a piece of coal to give to the house owner. Uh, which is, I know it's really strange. I know that. Um, and all I can say is, if you're in Scotland and you're up past midnight on Hogmanay, and you don't want a drunken rabble at your door, put your lights out because they will arrive. Because the thing is that if they go into your house, you welcome them with a drink. <laughs> How does that end? Yeah, well, I'm sure we can all guess. Right, so this is the second uh, of the Edith sections and I've just, I've covered everything, but I haven't put any uh, tags or anything in like that. So this is how it ended up. I think the last time we were just covering the pages and I hadn't really... Look at that. Isn't that a very pretty spread? It's really lovely. Um, does this flip? I can't remember. Yes, it does. Oh, so it's four full pages. Look at that. Wowee. So that folds over on itself like that. And that folds over like that. That's pretty too. And then that folds like that. And that's our section, which is at the moment looking very thin and very manageable. But... We've got tags and journaling cards and all sorts of stuff to do. So let's get cracking. I made a little start this morning. Yeah. It says Happy New Year. It's Happy New Year where she is. Oh, it will be, Kerry. Thank you. Happy New Year. I hope it's healthy and happy for, for you. And I shall say that to everybody when, when it's time to go. But for you, I know it is. Happy New Year already. <laughs> right. Um... These are the two that you will have seen uh, on the, the picture thing for the for the video, you know. And it's hard to believe that these are made from all Tim Holt stuff. Everything on it. But I'll go through it with you and I'll show you how I did it. Um, seem a little bit far away now, but there we are. Do you want me to zoom in? Zoom in a wee bit, please, yes. So we can have a good look at how they're made and how I might go about making some more. Lovely. 
that's lovely so yes everything on here is timmy and yet there's no grunge there's no dark it's just pretty it's amazing isn't it so that's those two and i probably don't want any more blue but i might do a green one or something like that just to show you how i did it and then there's this one look at that I mean, you know my sentiments towards blue tits at the best of times. That's just fabulous, isn't it? That was out of another book, nothing to do with Edith. I think it's called, I can see it from here, The Complete Book of British Birds. Yeah, and look what's on the cover. Look at that. Yeah, you know where that's going to end up, don't you? And it's on the back cover as well. Uh, and inside's all sorts of illustrations of all sorts of British birds. So at some stage, eventually, I'll get all of those fussy cut and used up. But when I saw this one with the blue tits on it, oh, no. Can you imagine how painful that was to fussy cut? <laughs> but the blue tits, it had to be done. So I made the background. Uh, I'll show you how I made the background. And then I stamped some stamps on. And that's that tag, which is ready to go into Edith. Uh, right, so where shall I begin? Well, I'll just show you what's on my desk and then you, you'll know. These are the Tim Holtz wa Worn Wallpaper Scraps. And I might have gone through these when I got them with you. I'm, I can't remember. Um, I'll just put that away because it's very shiny. Uh, and you get all these uh, sort of fussy cuts with it. Um, you get some... I've, I've, I think I've used some of these actually. But yeah, some of these just uh, straight ones. And then you get all these fussy cuts. I mean, they are rather large. Some of them are really large. But they're nice, aren't they? You know, they're not the grimy, grungy ones. I should say grunge rather than grime. Grime sounds dirty. Um, but there are some smaller ones. These little wee ones here. And that one. So, yeah, these are the fussy cuts, fussy cuts, fussy cuts, lots of, how many does it say? Uh, 29 die cuts. And then you get into the actual worn wallpaper. That's not, that's a piece of Timmy paper out of a pad. But these are the worn wallpapers. In case you were looking at them, didn't know whether to buy them or whatever, I'll just quickly flip through them. They're, they're gorgeous. They rem uh, kind of remind me of the 1940s, 1950s, that sort of era. I can't imagine making a Tim Holtz piece just with these. I think they'd have to be mixed up with something a bit grungier for my liking. But for other things, they're really nice. And some are, I'd go as far as saying, are very pretty. So yeah, you get lots and lots and lots. Uh, don't forget that Lorna at Tailor Made Journals, in her shop, she has at least three different sets of wallpapers. And they're not dissimilar to this. And, you know, once you've d paid for them, downloaded them, you can print them out as many times as you like. So just saying, just saying, that's all. And that was another piece, but I used it um, for this section down here. So that was what was left of that. Like a yeah, roll call. Let's have a roll call. Uh, Roz. Hello, Roz. I'm Jim. Hi, Jim. Kim. Hi, Kim. Terry. Hello, Terry. Janya. Hi, Janya. Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Gonny. Hi, Gonny. Benice. Hello, Benice. Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Which Sharon? You don't know now, do you? Sharon Davis, hi. Uh, where are we now? Jan. Hi, Jan. Flo. Hi, Flo. Erin. Hi, Erin. Kathleen. Hi, Kathleen. Carol. Hi, Carol. Carol. Hi, Carol. Peg and Jim. Hi, Peg and Jim. Toby. Hi, Toby. And Kerry. Hello, Kerry. We miss your shout out. Well, how nice to have you all with us today, uh, as I say, on the last day of school. <laughs> well, it's not really the last day of school, is it? Just the last day of the year. Right, what I've used um, 
for the ones that have got a sort of inky background, these ones, I have used um, mixed media paper. You could use full on watercolour paper if you've got it. Um, that would give you even better results, to be fair. Um, I haven't got any that's apart from really good quality watercolour paper, and I just deem that to be too expensive for tags. So this is fine. I did try it on ordinary uh, paper stock and card stock. It kind of works, but I wasn't overly happy with the results and I got much better results using the um, mixed media stuff. And to play with today, I have a set of Edith stamps. They're all dirty. Honestly, my stamps are always dirty. I have this out of um, one of those little books just says notes. I thought it might be nice for the back. I have these Edith playing cards. And they come in two flavours. Which I thought would be nice just to pop in, you know, instead of a tag somewhere. I have these Country Diary postcards that tear out and would be nice as a, you know, card to journal on. They're really pretty actually. Um, and I've got, I seem to have two packs of those and some loose ones as well. So we're not short of those. I'm piling things up on top of things that are not secure to start with. So at some stage, yeah, it's all gonna end in tears. Um, and also I've got these bits here that I've taken from that book that I've just shown you. So here I've got a Robin. I mean, it's very typically British. Um, I know you have robins in the US, but they're slightly darker, I think. I think they have sort of black on them as well. Um, this is our robin. Uh, so I've got him. This is one of the Tim Holtz die cuts that I thought was particularly Edith because it's that beautiful dog rose. And look at this fella. <laughs> look at him. He's gorgeous, isn't he? He's absolutely gorgeous. I love him. Uh, and then out of another book, I cut out these two butterflies. And then I saw this in the bird book. And I remembered that there is a one of these in Edith. It's, it's, um, is it called a green woodpecker or a giant woodpecker or... It's a green one, I think. Green woodpecker. They're quite large birds for this country because we don't have very many large birds, really. Uh, and that's him on his tree trunk. But I don't know if I can get him... This is the size of the largest tags I did in the other one, so I don't know if I can get him on there. Yeah, probably. I mean, he's lovely, isn't he? So, despite the fact that these are not from Edith, I think you'll, I hope you'll agree that they're very much in keeping with uh, Edith's style. Just a change. Just a little change from everything being Edith. Just something to uh, punctuate it, if you like. Ooh, that sounded clever, didn't it? Terry says the robins are brown with a red breast. Yeah, I... Th I th and yeah. Kathleen says American robins don't have white on their breasts. Mm, I thought so. They're quite dark. Um, the other thing that I've got that I thought could go in was this. I found this when I was looking for something the other day. And this... I don't know which way is up. <laughs> I never do. Um... I think that I think it might be this way. Yeah, because it's there's writing there. So there's this and these envelopes that go with them. And I thought I might just pop one or two of those in as well. I like those. I think they're very Edithy. Um, and I don't think they need anything doing to them really. I think they're ready just to go in. I think that probably was a Mr. F charity shop find. I'm not sure, but I think it was. Um, what else? I have a book. Where is that book? Which book are we on The now? book that I showed you. The countryside book. Oh. Here it is. Phew. Oh. Yeah, A Year in the Meadow. It's obviously called, you can read, um, A Book of Days. And it's just lovely. I just, that was where one of the butterflies came from. But look at that. Wouldn't that make a beautiful journaling card? I mean, it's Edith, 
but on steroids. But I don't think it would detract. I really like it. Um, and as you go through, there's all sorts of images um, that I think would be nice in our journal, in our trifold. The little snowdrops there. Look at that. That's so similar to the one we've got with the, the, the bunny rabbit on. I haven't compared them, but I'm pretty sure it's fairly similar. Let's have a look. Yeah, you can see it's the same sort of idea. So I wouldn't hesitate to put that in our in our journal. Lovely says hi, howdy. Hi lovely, I haven't seen you for ages, I hope you're all right. So yeah, you can see as you, I mean look at that. That is just, that to me is a perfect um, journaling card. You know, a nice big square card for our nice big thing. So I will be using that as well. Right, let's get on to some interesting stuff then. So I'm just going to take this um, card and I think I'll do the robin first. So let's just have a look. He's going there. Yeah, okay. So it's so shiny with that light on, it's so difficult for me to see. Um, difficult for me to see if I turn it off. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know. Uh, so what I'm going to use on the back, yeah, I think maybe a little bit, yeah, it are some greens, some green distress inks. I'll leave the frayed burlap out and the pumice stone because I might want those. Um, old paper I'm using because my bundled sage is dead. My bundled sage is no more. <laughs> it's dead. I need to get a re because did you see when... Uh, Keong re-inked her, I think it was walnut stain, could have been vintage photo. It was like magic, really worked well again, so I think I'm going to get a re-inker. So I've got old paper and forest moss, and I also want something probably out the Tim Holtz department. Lovely says, oh yes, I'm awesome. <laughs> Excellent, that's good to hear. I'm looking for a rusty hint, that's it, isn't it? Sounds like somebody started New Year's early. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got this distress... <laughs> distress spray stain. That's hard to say. Uh, in a, It's called Rusty Hinge, and I just wondered if it might pick up on the orange, ready orange of the robin. So let's put everything away apart from the two greens, the antique linen and the rusty hinge. Now I'm going to put everything well away because ink splashes around as you know if you're not careful. So let's put everything just to one side. I'll show you those two ribbons that I also have. Box for them. Yeah that would be lovely. A project box. Thank you my dear. Let's put those in there. That's handy, isn't it? Um, yeah, I also got these two ribbons as well. This one's uh, just a, a grow grain, I think, but it's fr sort of frayed on the edges, which I like. And then this one, which is, well, you can see it's all butterflies. Which Michelle says, did you say you were using mixed media paper? Yeah, mixed media paper is what I'm using. And it's a kind of cheap one. I got it from Hobbycraft. I can't even find it now. Here it is. Um, yeah, this is it. De La Roni. Got it from Hobbycraft. Mixed media. And at the time they were selling off these little pads very, very inexpensively. Which is why I got the A5, not the A4. Okay, so let's start with a light one first. So let's start with antique linen. So I'm just going to smoosh it on my messy mat. This doesn't look like it's got a lot of life in it either. I'll turn your head off because you've just done that right behind your head. All right, turn my head off. And just add some water to it. And it, you should see it beading up, but actually there's so little ink there. And then just dab 
your card in. Don't really press it, just dab it. And you'll get that sort of... Well, you can't see either because the light's so bright. I think we need to do something about our lighting. Let me see if we can turn the lighting down a bit. I'm not sure how I'm going to turn the lighting down. Yeah, well... Uh, maybe we need to use that other light that we got for next time. So dry in between every time that you do it because if you don't, it's just going to seep into the next layer and it'll go, you know, not clear. It'll go a bit muddy. So I've shown you this loads of times, I know I have, but um, it's always nice to see, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. There we are. So I've got just a sort of shading of yellow on there. Now I'm going to go in with the old paper because that's the next darkest colour. Smoosh that a little bit. And really you should be doing sort of four or five of these at a time uh, and then you wouldn't be wasting, wasting your ink. So just a little bit of water till you see it all going into dots. It's the dots that you want. And just dip it, dip it, dip it. Might come back in later and get a bit more colour on it but at the moment we're just dipping. Dipping, dipping. I'm going to dry that then I'm going to go back into that same So as I say, it's important to dry between each time, otherwise they just all run into one another and you'll have no definition uh, at all. So I hope, for those of you that I haven't caught up with since Christmas, I hope you all had a lovely, lovely Christmas. And, uh, not, you know, nice and restful, which I appreciate for a lot of people, Christmas isn't restful. There's loads of cooking to do, there's loads of dishes to do, um, there's loads of treading on eggshells with the in-laws etc um but you know it's a family time uh it's largely for the kids isn't it that's what they tell me so pretty much dry there dry enough and i'm just going to go back into this little few drops that i've got here and see if i can get some on some of the areas that I didn't manage to get some on before. Catkin's been up here and there's blinking cat eyes everywhere. He, he doesn't want to show me the journal he's making, but he obviously is making a journal. <laughs> I can tell because of all the things that have gone missing. Yeah, that, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Mary says she's just bought a dryer like that. She'll try as soon as she gets some power back on. Still no power. She's done something to the power in her craft room. Right, so that's dry. So now I'm just, I'm going to go quite easy with this forest moss because it's quite a dark colour. And I'm still talking to the cameras if you were there, but I know you aren't. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little bit on. We can always add more. You can always add more. And this is oxide, this one, so... Um, I'll temporarily move you over the other side. Oh, OK. Then I'll give you something to, give yeah, something look, to look at. Yeah, look, see how dark this is by comparison. So, as I say around these parts, I'll go canny. That's quite nice, quite nice, quite nice. And it, it is time consuming, but as I say, if you're doing a, a series of five, six, whatever, which is what I should be doing if it wasn't that I was showing you, then I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean, if I wasn't showing you, I'd, I'd just have like a conveyor belt system going. Uh, and then it doesn't seem so lo you know, to take so long for each one. I think I've got enough dark on there. I think that's 
sufficient dark and I'm going to go back into the old paper but I've still got some of that forest moss on my uh, messy mat so probably be a bit of a mixture of the two so let's see this is a big swathe in the middle there with nothing on it that's helped let's see where we're going Keung says hi oh I was just going to ask you if Keung was on she's just arrived well Well, Flo's here today, so you might be lucky. There might be something on the naughty step. Well, she put a picture on, didn't she, the other day of all the things she yeah, did? Yeah, she did. I'm going to dry this off, and I'm not going to clear that ink away. I just going to dry this off and see what it looks like, if it needs any more, any more or anything. It's not a bad thing to leave some white areas show through. You probably don't want too many white areas. Bearing in mind, this is Edith. You know, it's not... Edith didn't do grunge. <laughs> not to my knowledge, anyway. Would that be hysterical if somebody found an Edith grunge book? So, there we go. Almost there. Yeah, I think we're there. Do I need any more on there? Maybe a little bit down here. Let's let's go for it. Still missed it. Still missed it. How can you keep missing it? Doesn't want to get covered up that bit. Yeah, that's fine. A little bit up there. A little bit here. Yeah, that's great. I'm happy with that. Let's clean this off before we get it onto something that we don't want it on. And this is the beauty of this messy mat that the lovely Fancy Nancy bought for me. Just cleans up so readily. Right, there we go. Let's drop, make sure that's thoroughly dry and then I'm going to put some of the rusty hinge on it. Just a wee bit. That's the plan. Try not to get carried away. Yes, remember it's Edith and not grunge. Yes, remember <laughs> it's Edith and not grunge. It's just a little bit there that's still a bit wet. That's it. I think you'll be pleased with this, Terry. I was. I was um, very sceptical about it to begin with and I thought it was just sort of Tim Holtz trying to sell me something that I didn't need. But actually it's really, really good. It gets very, very hot and it doesn't blow a lot of air around. Uh, so when you're embossing or anything like that, it's it's great. Right, this rusty hinge, I seem to recall from the last time we used it, had a bit of an issue in as much as it was a bit leaky. So let's just hope. I'm going to spray it downwards onto my messy mat. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I need to get a brush of some sort. Do I have a brush out? There's hundreds of brushes behind me. I know that. <laughs> this I know. <laughs> but I just wondered if I had one here. What sort of size and shape would it you It doesn't like? actually even really matter. One. Yeah, a little fan one would be excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right, so I'm just going to add some water to that. Mix it all up and make it nice. Ooh, that is nice and orange, isn't it? See if I can get enough on to splatter. This is quite a hairy brush, so it might just be absorbing everything. Yeah, it's just a really hairy brush. And get on something. Oh, it. no, we're away. Everything around me is going to be orange for days to come. The future's bright. Oh, that's nice. I think that's probably enough. I don't know if you can see that, but there's quite a bit of the old orange spatter going on. This, I think, will be behind the robin, so I don't think we're going to see that. I'm going to go for the top, see if I can just get a little bit on the top there. No. 
Let's just try a little bit more water in this situation. No, it doesn't want to come off. Here comes Mr. F. Don't, don't, oh, look, it's already on the bloody robin. Well, you didn't blame me. <laughs> Where do you want it? There. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. It's not left, that's why. I know, well, never mind. Let's, let's call it a day at that, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll put the robin on and, and if, if there's big areas that look like they haven't got any orange then you can come back, okay? But only then. I can play later, you're saying? Yes, maybe. <laughs> maybe you can play later. Right. Let's have a look. Oh no, that orange is going to show. Yay! So the robin is going to go about there, I think. What does that look like? That looks all right, doesn't it? Up a little bit, maybe? I'd say up a little bit. About there. I like that. I like it. So this needs to get chopped off. Everything is now splattered orange. Brilliant. So I'm just going to chop that off. Just on the outside of that line in case it wasn't very accurate. And I'm going to stick him on, I think. Now the question is, do I want to stick him on first or do the stamps first and then stick him on? He looks nice on there, doesn't he, Mr. O? He looks absolutely brilliant. Do they need some more orange? I'm not sure you do, you know. No. Maybe no. just fit the top there, I don't know. You don't I'm going to stamp you. anyway, so. You're going to stamp, that yeah. Uh, Jan, you would like to know which green spray is Miss P using? Green. Green. I didn't use a green spray, Jan, yet. These are the ink pads that I used. I used uh, Distress Ink Antique Linen, Distress Ink Old Paper, and Distress Oxide Forest Moss. Those are the three inks that I used. Then the orange that I used is the Distress Spray Stain in Rusty Hinge. So those are what I've used. Antique linen, old paper, forest moss and Rusty Hinge. Okay, so could you, could you lose my head a minute please? I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me, I'm back. I'm back, bigger and better. Right, I think that I'm going to stick him down first and then I'm going to stamp. No, I'm not. I'm not, just in case it goes wrong. I'm going to stamp first. So I'm going to get my field notes stamps out again. Put these inks away. Um, get my field notes stamps out. See what we've got to play with. Ooh, look at all that bag of goodness. Um... Well, quite like the long ones for down the side. What about this one here? Orders attended to day or night. Quite like that. That could go there. Destination could go there. It could go up at the top. I'll put destination down there and then I've got shipment collect, uh, which could, would fit really nicely in at the top there. Actually. Julie said she was lurking and then she thought she heard Mr F being whipped. <laughs> I don't know where you got that from. <laughs> With that sound, I guess. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> well, Julie, what can I say? I am so grateful for my present. It's here. I haven't even put it away since you sent it to me. I absolutely love it and I might even uh, use it today. It's fabulous. Thank you very, very much. I don't know what I did to deserve it, but thank you. How very, very kind. Um, 
Right. I can't really put condemned in an Edith book, can you? You know, that's just not right. I've got the field notes one, though. That's quite nice. That could go down there. That big label. Yeah, I like that idea. Um, I like destination. Ooh, where's the robin going to go, though? He's going to go sort of there. Yeah, quite like destination exactly there. Right. Let's put these on and see what it looks like, shall we? I did clean my stamps. Mr. F and myself cleaned them. <laughs> I've used them since. Oh dear, I've used them since. Yes, I have. Now, I've got Shady Lane, which is a real green, but this is very green. So I'm thinking that my choices are either Versifying Claire in Fallen Leaves or Stays On in Jet Black. I think... I think I'll do it in jet black. No, I think I'll do it in brown. Let's do it in brown. It's not quite so harsh. Right. Seeing as we've made a really nice background, let's hope that I don't go to pot now. Because <laughs> that would be awful. It's usually the middle part of this that, if you have a problem, it's the middle part. Oh, lovely. Very, very nice. Um, so I'm going to put destination there. So this is the merge of Timmy and Edith. It's the love child. <laughs> Maybe not love child then. Okay. I think that would look better down the side. But yeah, I've got these. I've got these branches, haven't I? So I'm not going to get very much. That would go though. I'm not going to get very far with the lid, am I? <laughs> so let's just pop that down there. There we go. Um, does it need any more? You know, I don't really think it does. By the time that we... Well, it might. Yeah, it might on the top. I don't know. Um, what about one of the round ones? I've got that round one and that round one. Yeah, I think I'll put that big round one there. towards me a bit. I'm just going to stamp it off the start off the tag about there. Yeah I, th I think that's fine I'm happy with that I don't think it needs any more. Let's just shunt these over there. Right so and I'm going to need to ink around this because he's got a white border around him. Um, so he needs a little bit of a gentle inky dink. Um, I don't want to put too much ink on him because like I say, it is Edith. I just want to get rid of that white line, basically. Looks like you're feeding him. I know, feeding him ink. Eat your ink up, good boy. You know, robins are really uh, not nice birds. They're really not nice. 
They're very, very um, aggressive. Territorial. Very territorial and very aggressive. Which doesn't make sense really that just about every Christmas card that you see has got a robin on it. But you know. So does everybody make a big meal for New Year's Day or go out for dinner or do something fancy? We're having a roast again. We had a roast on Christmas Day. We're having a roast tomorrow. Nearly there now. I've still got the other side of this blooming branch. Kyung says they don't do anything for New Year's. No. I think largely it's a Scottish thing. And so I think places where there's a lot of Scots have moved to, like Canada or New Zealand or whatever, they're probably the places that get the most drunk. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's fine there. Let's stick him on. I can see Janya thinking whether it's too late to get to Scotland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know any flights going to Scotland? Prestwich or somewhere would be good. Yeah, her, her Instagram account is called Wine and Stitch. <laughs> what does that tell you? What What does that tell you about the girl? Thank you to everybody who supported me on uh, Instagram and liked my posts. It's very encouraging. Thank you. You mean people like Tim? Yeah, I mean people like Tim. <laughs> Right, let's see if we can get this on without making too much of a hash. My goodness, I think we can. Just get my toe because there's glue coming out which you don't want. She'll be doing a travel series soon around the world in 80 bars. <laughs> Janya. <laughs> Janya, we don't mean this. <laughs> it's so warm in this room. So there we have it. Uh, what do you think of that for a tag for an Edith book? Do you think it's okay? Or do you think it's a bit far off the mark? I don't know. But the other thing that I noticed when I was going through those things... Uh, when we started was this book here that you probably now can't see because I've asked Mr Thing to come in Mr F no it's alright yeah go on then a wee bit um, this country diary of an Edwardian lady gift wrap collection including matching gift tags and it's when I saw yes thank you the includes matching gift tags I thought well what are they the gift, pa the gift wrap I think I've shown you before it's really, really lovely. And it's massive. It falls out to be really massive. So we could definitely include some of that. But it was the gift tags that I thought were interesting. And these are they. And they're kind of um, perforated. So they should come out. Or not. I don't know. Let's try one on the edge. Let's tear this off, shall we? Might get on a little bit better. Let's cut it off. Right, I am finished with that. Thank you. So let's see if we can get any of these out. It would be somewhat disappointing if we can't. There you go. You just got to be roughy tufty with them. I'm really scared in case I tear it. No, nope, that's it. It's 
that's coming out. Because what I thought, not this particular one here, but what I thought was I could, um, when I put the string through, I could put one of these little tags on top as well, and that would look quite nice. I don't think I've got one that particularly goes with this. They're all a bit sort of turquoisey, aren't they? Um, yeah, possibly. But I'll bear those in mind for kind of like the next ones that we do and see if uh, that's any good. Kay Fisher says hi. Hi, Kay. Just wanted to pop on and say Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. I hope it's a really productive one and I hope you're healthy and happy. That's all anyone could wish for. Um, right, let's just see where the middle of this is. That's two and three quarters. So... What's that? One and three eighths. One and three eighths. So that's there. So let's let's make a hole. I don't think that they need um, eyelets in because. What's going to happen to them? Nothing really. Nobody's going to be pulling on them. There's no force on it at all. So let's find my ribbon. Here, oh no, here it is. Here are my greens. And I think it's a sort of olivey sort of green, this one, that colour. So let's just use that then. I'm just going to tie a knot in it. That's all that I'm going to do. It's quite nice quality, this ribbon. Which is nice. Always nice when you get good quality stuff. There we are. So that's that. It's probably longer than it needs to be, but I don't mind. It's, it's nice. Matches the tag. And there's our robin tag. Oh, haven't inked around the edge yet. And that does make a huge difference to them. It really brings them out. So let's get my Shady Lane and my Dauber. Shady Lane Dauber. And let's go around it. And it just kind of edges it nicely. As you know. Because I've been using a dark green, a for the forest moss on the actual Edith, I'm going to use this dark green on here. I'm glad that I used that little bit of rusty hinge. It's just brought the background into the robin, if you know what I mean. They're all nicely coordinating. So there we are. That's him. He's done. I hope you like him. Lovely. Let's move along the bus then. Let's put him in the done drawer. Now, I wanted to make a couple of smaller tags um, from this. It's falling apart, my poor book. And I'm just going to, I'm going to chop the end off, but I'm going to keep it because <laughs> I think it would look nice in some of the Tim Holtz stuff that I do. So I'm going to keep hold of this raggy end. Lovely. Um, and what does this measure? It measures seven and a half. So that's three and five eighths. Is that right? Something like that. So let's cut that at three and five eighths. So I should end up with two that are the same. Is that right? It's half of seven and a half, please. Uh, three and three quarters. Three and three quarters. Well, it's only in eighth along. Oh well. Yeah, he was right. <laughs> oh dear, he was right. So I thought I'd make one that was I could put the butterflies on. So I really do like these. I mean, you know, I've I've cut them out of that book that I showed you, but you don't have to. You know, you could Edith has butterflies in that you could uh, cut out. I always feel 
Oh, I feel it's a bit of a waste, fussy cutting, Edith. I don't know why. I use plenty of it. But um, the other thing is the Tim Holtz Botanicals um, things. They have uh, loads of butterflies in, so you could use them if you wanted to. But I'm going to do a sort of sim, in as much as I'm going to use the same colours, because those colour inks obviously match what I'm doing. I've lost them now. Here we go. And I'm just going to get some you know these brushes these makeup brushes which fancy nancy kindly sent me a whole set of so i am completely spoiled and all of them look like they're green apart from that which is pink so let's just clean one of these off a little bit and get rid of some of the darkest green should be okay so I'm going to go for the antique linen. <sighs> Worn out now. The antique linen, load your brush up and then dab it off onto whatever surface, you know, your glass mat or your messy mat, whatever. And that should mean that you don't get those really dark, dark bits. And with a mixed media paper, you do get a much better blend. We're back to you not being able to see again, aren't we? I don't know, can you see that that's going on there? A little bit, I yeah. think so. It'll come together. It will come together. So dab it off and then come in from the side and you won't get those nasty swirly marks. The makeup brushes go a long way to help that, but so does the mixed media paper. It, it's, it's really good for blending on. So I'm going to that corner and then just, just like that. So we've got the two opposite corners. They're not the same size. This one's smaller than that one. Um, and then I'll move on to the uh, old paper, which is a lovely green, actually. Um, I might as well use this brush again. I'm just going to come in from the side and just blend over that antique linen. Need a little bit more, you can't really see the colour there. Yeah, so Kat Kin was asking for a camera this morning. When I asked him what for, he said it was because he wanted to take pictures of his journal to put on Instagram. <laughs> so, yeah, he's not getting one because he's too young. <laughs> he's so funny, though. He goes past my desk and now he's tall enough that he can just reach up on his back legs and just swipe. And whatever is on the back edge of my desk there, he just grabs as his own. So it could be an ink pad. It could be a brush it could be my water spray it could be anything but once it's on the floor it's his <laughs> so i'm pretty sure he is making a journal he obviously wants it to be a secret so that's that so now i'm going to go into the forest moss which is much darker so deep breaths all round And this is an oxide as well, so it will sit on top of those colours. So make sure you haven't got too much on your brush to start with. You can always go back in. Yeah, that's looking all right. So he says he's making it for Bobby. Oh, his bestest friend. It could be, you know. Maybe he wants the camera to take photographs of Bob. <laughs> That'd be funny. Excuse me. I don't know why my nose is running today. It just is. Right, so what I want to do now is I want to take some of that area up and I want to enhance some of the area more. So I'm going to get a stencil out and I have two which I favour this one and this one um, 
I might use this one because the butterflies are quite small and I think they might get caught up in the busyness of that one. So um, what I'm going to do is get a wet wipe. You could use a wet towel, that would be fine. I seem to have lost the top of my wet wipe, so they're all going to dry out. Need some tape or something on them. Right, so I'm just getting a little wad of wet wipe and putting my stencil over it and I'm just going to go over it rubbing, rubbing leave a little bit, don't go mad and then tail it out, sort of not so heavy towards the edge and same down this bottom corner a little bit like that and that's what you end up with. So it lifts the pattern, the colour off, but you can still see the colour it was. And then what I'm going to do in the middle is the opposite. And you could do it the other way around as well if you wanted to, it'd be fine. Um, I'm going to use my forest moss, which is the darkest of the ones I've got, the oxide. My makeup brush, get some ink on then it doesn't matter if it matches you know if it sits in the same place or not as, as where you rubbed it out from just dab the worst of it off and you can make this jaggy you know so it's not just a straight line it needs to be a bit more jaggy up there and there we are that's that's that that's the base for that card Whereas I've used all colours of green, you can use, you could use red, purple, blue, anything and make it much more vibrant. Um, as you know, this is going in Edith, so I don't want it really blinding. Um, okay, now this is going to be a tag, so let's cut the corners off. I'm just going to cut little corners off. Quite like the little corners on tags. I not used to, but do now. Times change. Might be a bit wide this to have these little corners. We'll see. No, I think that's all right. I think it's okay. Uh, so where are my butterflies? Here they are. So I just want one here and one up here and I don't really think it needs a lot more do you guys do you think it needs more let's ink around the edge and see what we think of it then because that makes as I say that makes a huge difference this is Versafine Claire Shady Lane in case you're wondering what the dark green is that I'm using What do you think? Do we need more? I think we do need a little bit more. What do you think, Mr. Possibly some stampage. Yeah, a little bit of stampage. Let's put this ribbon to one side. A little bit of stampage. So what stampage have we got? We've got all sorts. Uh, there is one somewhere that's got a butterfly on it. That's a bird. That's a flower. I've got specimen and collect, they're nice. Ah, there's the butterfly one. Hmm. Let's have a look at the specimen and collect first, shall we? So if I was to put the collect one there, see I can still put that over the top, but I could put it there. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in the middle, I think. I'm going to do it again in, in 
in brown. If I can find it. Here it is. Right, let's try and get this straight. I hope it's straight. I think that's straight. Look straight down that edge. Yeah, that, that's that's good. That's looking better already. It's cheering up as we go. Do you know, round by us, there's this place. You know, sometimes after a live in the, in the summer, not now, obviously, it's a bit bleary, but in the summer we go for what we call jaunts. <laughs> we just get in the car and we go wherever we fancy going, particularly up roads and things that we've never been up before, um, just to see what's up there. I mean, I think we've covered pretty much all of them now, but within a sort of 20 mile radius, we just go around, <laughs> just like vagrants, just going around places. And we came across this place called Cheering Place. Cheering Place. So now every time we go past it, we go, yay! <laughs> yeah, we're not right. We're definitely not right. <coughs> <coughs> this says figure one and figure two, and I'd like to put them be beside the butterflies, but I'm going to stick them on first before I do that. I want something else down here. Um just looking through my stamps handle with care mm, registered these feel not stamps are just the best ever I ought to treat them better really to be honest I notice nowadays I've gone up to nearly 30 pounds 30 pounds shipment collect shipment collect any takers <laughs> Look, there's a nice number there. That would go nicely there. Let's do that. It's too easy to think that you've got to just always put things around the edge. You can have things sticking into the centre as well if you want. You just got to make sure they're straight. not too bad and I might just put some illegible text on on there actually just the teeny tiniest little bit of it because I've been guilty in the past of overusing illegible text not that anybody said anything but I know that I have used it a bit too much so I'm just going to remove those which way is up? This way. Question I often ask myself. Which way is up? I think that's fine. I think that's just taken away that kind of nakedness. But it hasn't detracted from the lovely inky background. Right, so let's put our butterflies on. Did I go around those before? I, I did. I went around these before with brown ink. So you wouldn't have to suffer that so how does that look nice let's get this one on then what's anybody saying what are people saying mr f uh, i was just saying there's a place near newcastle that's called wide open which is not sure what we're supposed to shout there <laughs> that's where one of our dogs came from a black labrador we had puppy so where she came from. There's a once brood and a twice brood. There is a once brood and a twice brood. I suppose you should get the kettle on when you pass there. <laughs> so I'm just using my towel to press this down and to pick up any excess glue there is around because for all it dries clear, it still dries kind of shiny and you can see it and I don't like it. So if you just press it on with the Timmy towel, it picks up all that excess and pushes your butterfly down. What more can you ask for? So this, let me see, will that fit in there nicely? Yeah, I think so. 
I like the butterflies with the green. I think they they go quite well. Janya seems to think you should start, come and get it. Come and get it, Janya. Says please don't ban me from the group. <laughs> Janya, <laughs> you're a funny girl. <laughs> Oh dear. You're allowed. It's New Year's Eve. Jen says hi. She missed the notification. Oh, I wondered where you were, Jen. I thought maybe you were away visiting folk at this time of year. It's that time of year, isn't it? Well, tomorrow morning, I'm going to be drawing the... Oh, come on, girl. The winner, yes, the winner, of the, from the people who have bought me a coffee last year. So if you have bought me a coffee in, in this year as we are now in, uh, your name will be put into a hat, probably a metaphoric hat, but it might be a real hat, um, and I will draw out the winner. And the winner will get, Mr. F doesn't know this yet, you have a heart attack when he finds out. The winner will get this. This is what you will win. The lovely, lovely, well, I think it's lovely, Tim Holtz journal that I've been working on for a while. So the winner of that um, will get this, winning its way to you. Um, so if you have bought me a coffee at all in 2021, you will be in the hat and in with a chance of winning the Tim Holtz journal that I'm busily finishing off at the moment. Um, so all I can say to you is thank you to everybody. I'm sorry I can't send one out to everybody. Uh, you've all been very generous and very kind and supportive. And I just want to give a little bit of something back. So that's what it's going to be. It's going to be the Tim Holtz journal. And um, I'll take the names as of sort of midnight. So tomorrow morning when I get up, if anybody has bought me a coffee in their year, up until then, your name will be in the hat. And I'll announce it on the group tomorrow. Right, let's uh, put some ribbon or something in here. I'll go back through what I've done, Jen, in a sec. It's not much more talking than action, to be fair, as usual. That's about the centre there. It says you could use your beautiful felt bowl. I could, I could use my felt bowl, yeah. That might be an idea, actually. Yeah, okay. Let's move that back a bit. There we go. I'll just put another piece of ribbon in there. Um, probably the same, actually, because we're dealing in the same colours, aren't we? Judy says, that's fabulous. How can I stack the deck? <laughs> I'm just wondering if a bit of Tim Holtz, um, this stuff, design tape as he calls it, washy, wouldn't look quite nice. I think it would. Let's have a look and see which would look the nicest. This one here, I think. Jen says, they just love the green ribbon. You love the green, this green ribbon? I love it too, and it's gorgeous quality. I, I, I bought a pack from these people on Etsy. No, no, not Etsy. eBay, eBay. I think it was eBay. Uh, the Little Ribbon Company, and I bought a pack of green because I knew it was going to do Edith, and I didn't have any green to speak of. Um, and this is what arrived, and it's really nice. So you get a yard of, I don't know how many, but... You know, certainly enough for a journal, which I think is great. But I seem to be using quite a lot of this olivey colour at the moment. Because um, those of you that know me know I love chartreuse and olive and all sort of thing that way on. Jen says, Mike, head to eBay. <laughs> I think they're an English company, or British at any rate. I'm going to give this uh, design tape 
as it is called, a little try. And if I don't like it, it can just get pulled off again. So I'm going to bring it down that way to there. Uh, Toby Henderson said, Mom loves the big bike that I got her for Christmas. Oh, great. It's That's so great. handy if you have issues with your hands. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. I'm so pleased. That was a lovely present to get her. Lovely. So where's my... I really am having a complete love affair with Tim Holt's collage tape at the moment. It just, I don't know, goes places other tapes don't. No, that's not true. It's just different and I love it. I like that there. And I'm going to put a bit at the bottom here. Not right on the bottom, because that would be predictable. So just off a mill or so. Um, yeah, the other day part of my Christmas present arrived. <laughs> Where is it, Mr. F? The postage thing. And I wasn't going to tell them, I was going to keep it as a surprise. <laughs> well, it's a good surprise, isn't it? Yeah, look at this. Oh. Look at this! <laughs> it's a letter size guide and it's this outside of it here, which you can't see because you're too close in, Do is just a wee bit if you wouldn't mind. In out, in out. Shake, shake it, it all, all about. about. Yeah, this the whole size of the thing is a large letter. If it's bigger than that, it's a package. And this slot here, which is 25 mils or an inch, uh, if it goes through there, it's a large letter, like my hand. Is not because I can't get that through. <laughs> and that's then a definite package. It's a definite package. And then this red part here, that's a letter, an ordinary letter, but it can't be any thicker than there. So if it's less than that but goes whizzing through there, it's a letter. And the reason I'm doing this, I don't know what that's why that isn't coloured there. That's weird. If it's that size, what? Do you not have to pay for it? <laughs> don't know anyway the reason I've got this is because I'm gonna start putting listing some things on uh, my Etsy shop that are really not very expensive you know sort of five six quid that sort of thing and then it makes a mockery of it if you've got to pay 12 quid or 10 quid or whatever to get it posted to you so I'm gonna give the Royal Mail and USPS a chance of sending it not tracked uh, not signed for just ordinary and see if it actually makes its way to anybody and if it if it doesn't i'll refund it because it's not the end of the world um whereas you know journals and things like that i'd never send them just ordinary um i, I always send them ups tracked and signed for because um they're accountable then aren't they because i you know journals i'm not going to start and make another journal but the cheap sort of little things that i want to do you know bits of ephemera that sort of thing um I'm going to start sending out by the cheapest method possible, which is Royal Mail and USPS. And I will need I will need this to see if it what what it fits into. So there you go, great gift, eh? <laughs> so there we are. Oh no, I've still got one piece of design tape to put on, and I'm going to put it on along here. So for all it's not Timmy, etc., etc., we're still making layers as we do and it's the making of the layers and that, that makes something I think that's way too far across so that's that there let's chop that off I mean Timmy does loads of these packs of design tapes there's loads but whether you need loads or not that's open to discussion <laughs> yeah right <laughs> Oh, there's only one answer to that. So I find if I burnish them down really well, I don't have a problem with them at all. Deborah says hi. Hi, Deborah. Uh, Penelope. Hi, Penelope. From uh, France. <laughs> I don't understand what you say. I just see the video. Oh, Penelope. Hi. <laughs> I hope you understand that. Bonjour. <laughs> Could be bonjour. She's French. Oh, she's French? Yes. Ah, ça va. 
So here we are, we've added this little bit of design tape and I hope you agree that it's just made a huge, huge difference. It just looks cared for now rather than just finished. Right, so ja um, Jen, I was going to show you what we had to Jen achieve. Says, let him know if you need a guinea pig. Yeah, well, it might it might be that, actually. Where, where are the other things that I made? I made those and that. Right, this is what we've got from today's sort of haul. But I do want to do one more, if that's all right with you guys, before I go. I mean, if you've got to go, you've got to go. I, you know, I understand. Um, do don't think, have to sit here. Do you think we'll get a guinea pig through the one-inch slot? No, it's going to have to go package, which case there's no point, is there? Because it's going UPS. Silly idea, Jen. If I iron it first. <laughs> if you iron it. So these two I made this morning. Uh, and I used blue inks um, stamped. This is Timmy um, worn wallpaper scraps. And these are two die cuts that came in with that pack. Would you believe it? I can't believe that something so pretty came from a Timmy pack. But there you go. Uh, so I made those this morning um, and then we made these this afternoon. Uh, look at this one, Jen. Look at it. It's so gorgeous, isn't it? And that was out of a book that I had. Nothing to do with Edith, but I do think it'll fit in with Edith. OK, I hope so. Hope you agree. Uh, this one, which you've just watched me make. Butterflies, also not from Edith. And the stamps, etc. are all uh, Dear Timmy. And then this one, a robin out of a book, nothing to do with Edith again. And I just uh, used that old inking way of going on, you know, dipping it in that I've shown you a million times. I'm sure you're absolutely bored to tears with it. Uh, but what I did add this time was a little bit of rusty hinge, that orange colour, just to pick up on the orange from Mr. Robin here. So those are what we've kind of achieved today. But I would, I would really quite like to... I've got this other half one, but I haven't got any half. I haven't got any half size bits. I mean, it's just too big. I'm going to have to get another full size bit out, I think. Chop the end off. Is that square? Does this one think that is square? Who knows? Um, right, I want to make it about four inches wide. I think, let's see if he'll fit on there at four inches. Yes, he will. So don't throw these away. They make really nice um, tummy tucks and stuff. And, you know, they take the ink well, so that's good. It's all good. Right, I'm going to do a blue one. You're probably sick to death of this technique by now, but to me it's magical. Every time I do it, it's like magic. Uh, this has got a smooth side and a rough side. And I'm going to use the smooth side, I think. I don't really know what the difference is, if I'm honest with you. But I'm going to use the smooth. And I'm going to get the blues out. I don't know which blues I use. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, it's all coming back to me. Right. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I'm going to use the Distress Ink Speckled Egg first. Uh, I know it's verging on the side of turquoisey tealy, but it, it fits in quite nicely with what we're going to do. So let's use it first. So let's smoosh that down on there. I think this is coming to the end of its life, so let's have a look. I've got an oxide as well in speckled egg, I'm pretty sure. Bear with, bear with. It's somewhere. Oops, I'm falling. Weathered wood. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. All of that nothing fell over mm -hmm. so this is the same but oxide the oxide one yeah that's looking nice 
a little quick spray. Same procedure, exactly the same. Dippy, 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 dippy. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. It's gorgeous. That is so pretty. Look at these gorgeous little marks around here. So let's dry that off. This is the secret, guys, to getting a good ink background. Dry off in between your layers and then it won't go muddy. Oxides particularly will always sit on top of whatever is underneath. Inks, they tend to merge a bit, but oxides will sit on top. That's why this card could be black and it would still show up exactly the same amount of that oxide on it. So dry that off. So you can see that for me, making the tags for the Edith Journal is not a quick procedure. I mean, some I will use cards and the postcards, etc. But others, quite a few of them will be made in this manner or similar ink sort of things. Um, Let's just see if I can get all of that ink up. Save wasting it. There must have been another colour there. It's not that it matters, it looks quite nice. So it looks quite like a ice blue actually when you see it against the white. It doesn't look as turquoise as you might think. So now I'm going to use um, faded jeans. Which is probably one of my most used colours of all the Timmy colours. Oh yeah, that's just gorgeous. Now if this turns out to be too dark, it's ink, it's Distress ink. Not that you can see it very well because it's a bit mud mucky. But if I wanted to lighten it again, I could go in with the oxide again, which would sit on top of, of the ink. So you'd see the, the um, speckled egg rather than the faded jeans. That's because it's an oxide. Jen's asking about the messy mat. Yeah. I think it's made of Teflon, isn't it? This came as a gift from Fancy Nancy. How lucky am I? Um, it's boxes over there for a while. Just at the back of the sewing machine, squashed flat. No, oh, this, this one. Yeah. It is, it is, it is a non-stick craft sheet from Ranger, non-stick craft sheet, 15 by 18 inches reusable sheet, nothing sticks to it. Used for ink application, stamping and embossing, hot glue, wax, ironing, ironing, painting and decoupage, Ranger's melting pot, plastic shrink, baking, shrink plastic, baking shrink plastic and polymer clay. Store rolled up or flat. Do not use as a cutting surface and do not fold. More than that I cannot tell you except I'm a very lucky girl. I don't think I want anything more on that. I think that's sufficient so I'm just going to wipe up this. You could say adult use only though. Ah Jen, sorry. <laughs> well if Mike was going to use it <laughs> for you. <laughs> What a waste of ink. If I'd been doing two cards, I could have used that up, but I'm not. So let's not cry about it, eh? There we go. Lovely. And it just, it just cleans up. It's, it, it, it's, it's like magic. I can't believe it. Right, so there we are. We've got that. And I'm going to put my blue tit on it. Right, that's not standing out very much, is it? I think I'm going to have to go back in with a Distress Oxide 
sort of around this central area and hopefully get that to stand out a little bit more. I've, I've made it too blue, too blue. So let's see if it's as good as its word and it sits on top of things. Seems to. I think that's about as good as I'm going to get it because now it's it's merging the ink and the oxides merging. So that's probably going to be as good as I'm going to get that. Lovely. Let's just wipe that up. Okay. Uh, let's try the little blue tit guy again. I don't know. I think he's okay. I quite like him. Let's let's ink around him, shall we? Oh, I forgot to put my figure one and two on the butterflies. Um, let's ink around him in the brown. I don't know what's happened to my brown. It seems to have gone green, but never mind. See if this will pick him out more from the background. Which I hope it will. If not, we could always mount him onto a piece of card, but I don't really want to do that. He's only standing on a little twig, but that's all he was on in the book, so. We don't get very many blue tits around here, do we, Mr. Only when it's cold. We don't get very many blue tits around here, do we, Mr. No. Great tits, cold tits. I don't know if that's standing out enough. Shall I keep this background for something else and put this blue tit on a more grey background? I think so. I think that's what I'm going to have to do, guys. Bear with. Oh, I know what would go nicely on there. That. Oh, yes. That's better than just putting it away, never to see the light of day again, isn't it? How about Mr Green? Really? Mr. F's gone. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'll put this oh, on. I'd pay great to answer questions like I'm, that. I'm going to put this on because I, I quite like it. It's very Edithy and all that. I just need, where did I put my wall, wallpaper? Did I put it away? Don't be stupid. Of course you didn't. So where is it then? Here it is. I just need a piece of that one wallpaper just to make a bit of a statement down the middle. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Let's just tear this edge off because it's been torn. So I've got all the white on this side, which I don't really want. So I'm just tearing it at arbitrarily. Wherever it tears is where it tears. And then I want to tear down the other side because I don't want that straight edge. I just chose this because it was fairly bland. It wasn't going to interrupt with whatever I, whatever else I stuck onto the tag. Ross says Jim's having a good laugh. <laughs> yeah, about blue tits. Have we found your level, Jim? <laughs> Is it the same as Mr F's? Pretty near the ground. I quite like that. I think by the time that's inked up, it'll look all right. I don't really want it in the middle. It's a bit... 
yeah that's okay Let, let's ink that let's ink that in blue um i did have a blue finger dauber somewhere it is a miracle that i can find anything in, on this desk there is so much stuff out you would not believe it so i'm just going to quickly ink down the sides of here says blue tits and woodpeckers what more could we ask for <laughs> oh, I think some of you lot are quite smutty I would never have thought of such a thing <laughs> oh, dear. so yeah for those of you that missed it there will be a drawing uh, tomorrow morning I'm not I don't not going to do it live or anything you just have to trust me who wins wins okay uh, of all the people who have bought me a coffee in the year 2021 that's from when I first started the buy me a coffee until midnight tonight if you've donated your name will be in the hat and I'm not going to pick up what the winning thing is what you're going to win if your name comes out but um, if you've been following the channel you'll know it's the the Tim Holtz journal that I've been doing. Can you reach it? I probably can. So I'm going to stick this I'm down. I trying to avoid being on camera. <laughs> I'll hide you, I'll hide you. Look, I'm hiding you. <laughs> Spread out more. Not that much more. Do you want me to... Um... Yeah. Yeah, so that's the Tim Holtz journal that someone um will own very soon i'll do the drawing tomorrow morning when i get up um and we'll see who wins so good luck to all of you all i can say is i'm very appreciative of everybody uh when i say who's brought me a coffee some of you have donated to the channel um through paypal that's fine your name will be in the hat too anybody that has donated to the channel don't worry your name will be in the hat Ugh, come on. There we go. Let's just stick that up there. Get my towel out. Jen says a fabulous prize. Oh, thanks. So generous, dear. Well, all of you lot have been so generous. That's the thing. I mean, you know, all these things that I pull out, there's no way I could afford them all without your help. I just couldn't. We're just ordinary people doing ordinary things. Um, so, you know, I'm so grateful to all of you for thank you, for helping this channel be what it be what it is. So I'm not going to put him on there, am I? He looks so nice on there, though. I really quite like him on there. Shall I put him on there? Right, guys, here's the question. Shall I put the blue tit on there or shall I put the... Come off. He wants to stay on there. The Timmy Roses. That's the question for you. I will have... Could you get me a rum and coke, please, while I wait to see what people say? The thing is, you put that piece down, which looks like a tree. Yeah, I know so it does. So the flower doesn't quite do it for me. If I was allowed to say. You're allowed. Rum and coke, please. Rum and coke? Yeah, thanks. With ice? No. The other thing we have is the is him, but he's not he's not in the equation, he's not going on here. So it is just either the bleated or the rose. Have we got anything else in here? Could always cut something else out. Yeah, we could. Got the nature of Florida. Yeah, alligators and snakes. That doesn't really fit. Thank you. Dugong. Oh, I'm so thirsty, guys. Right. Um, the blue tits. The blue tip, bird, put him on, the bird. Dog rose, says Jania. Uh, 
Make it two, Mr. O Mr. F, just skip the <laughs> skip the coke. That's Jen for you. The blue tit, says Max. Um, thank you, Keon. That's very sweet. Uh, Jan says the bird. Marion, the bird. Uh, Keon says what... <laughs> no, Camellia says what Keon said, and that's very nice. Cathy likes the rose. Gonny likes the bird. Well, I think overall it's the bird. So it's the bird that's going on. He's so super cute. I love that bird. Right. It's the bird. It's the bird. It's the bird. It's the bird. He's inked around. He's ready to go. I think he's going to need a bit of stamping to bring him, you know, make him look right. Not just like a marooned bird in the middle of a piece of paper. There we go. Come on, little birdie. About there, I think. What did we used to do before Timmy towels? They are so critical. Did everybody see the um, walkthrough of Timmy's Christmas decorations in it? Uh, marry own his house it was it was everything you, that you would have dreamt in your wildest dreams that it could be it was it was ridiculously ot i mean it was so ott it just that phrase just doesn't even fit um but absolutely beautiful really really gorgeous and very well curated right there we are so let's get stamping let's get cutting the tags off the corners of the tag off first and i'm going to cut the i've only got two sizes on this so i'm going to cut the bigger ones because it's quite a big tag isn't it i don't know if you guys have enjoyed yourself this afternoon i have it's lovely. I love inking things. I love this sort of messing around. Messing around, that's what we've been doing. No great pressure or anything, just messing around. See what happens. Right, so I need to do something. Need to stamp something. I don't know if this colour here will go or not. It's blue. <laughs> <laughs> it's blue yes it's blue where's my scrap bit of paper let's try it let's stamp something on it see what happens where's my stamping block here it is um let's stamp destination that's a big one always take your pad to the ink not your stamp to the ink you take your pad to your stamp not like i'm doing that's naughty I think that's all right. Don't think it's the right colour blue, but it's near enough. Um, right, seeing as I've got destination on here, that's what we're going for. I'm going to put it on the bottom. Be predictable, eh? Put it on the bottom. Destination. Destination unknown. Um, then I'm going to put something, I quite like that butterfly, it's got absolutely no to do with birds, quite like that, I might put that there, or there, no, it's not amusing me very much either, um, oh yeah I've got these big, these big numbers, I like these, they stand out, yeah, let's, let's have them. Let's have them on there. These are the most standy outy ones. Yeah, you are right? Yep. I'm going to put them on a couple of places because I love them. Um, let's put them about there. 
Yes. It's coming together already. It's looking better already. Have faith. <laughs> um, mm. Uh, mm. What now? What now? What now? I'm going to put a few more on in blue and then I'm going to move to black, I think. Handle with care? Should I put that there? I've got that one across there though, so I don't really want it. Penelope's put small blue tit in French. Mm -hmm. A petite, une petite mésange bleu. Mésange. Mésange bleu. Thank you, Penelope, keeping us right. Une petite mésange bleu. So petite small. Blue, yeah. blue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mesange must be tit. You don't need to giggle like a schoolboy. You are! You are giggling like a schoolboy. Right, I'm going to put this one up here. I'm going to carry on like it's just normal. Well, it is normal in this house. Okay. That's probably too much blue down there. I need something across here. This one. This is what we need in our lives. We need that there. Because it's the right shape. Yeah, okay. That's plenty, plenty, plenty blue. Was plenty blue a couple of stamps ago to be honest but never mind it doesn't matter we're having fun we're having fun and we're not doing anything wrong or what have you so this is this blooming stays on in black I need another drink to gird my loins I appreciate you guys in America don't follow the cricket or anything like that but let me tell you, it's gone as wrong as it possibly could go if you're British. <laughs> it's just gone really. <clears throat> it's it's a um, five game series. We've played three. We've lost three. <laughs> it's really bad. It's really, really bad. Um, I like this stamp. Where can I put it? There, possibly. Yeah, let, let's do that. Let's do that. Before we start umming and eyeing and going on about it. What we should do and what we shouldn't do. I'm going to put it down the side. And I like that, so I'm going to use that again up at the top. I'm just going to have it coming off the side a little bit. Like that, that's enough with that. I just want one more black stamp just to kind of balance it out. Then I'll have a look and see if I've got any black, blue, even. Um, masking tape, Timmy masking tape. I don't think I've got any, but you know, I can tell. Um, how about that up at the top? No, it's, it's kind of predictable. I quite like those numbers though. Those ones, yeah, let's go for them in black. I'm going to have to turn it around because I can't see. And maybe those once again down here. They're quite nice. You alright Mr. F? Yeah, so I was just thinking we could blow up a little bit of tape. Yeah, we could. That might look quite nice. I'm going, well, we'd have to use pens. Maybe another day. Right, that, I think that's enough black on there, although there's no black really along that central section. Let's just find a little tiny, there's an itsy bitsy, oh, there's a nice one there, look. These field notes, man, they are brilliant. I hope Santa brought everybody a set of field note stamps. Yeah, I like that there. And I might just put it up that side there. And then I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. 
yeah there we go let's just have a look and see what timmy design tape i've got what a right hand you do my stamps are in i was going to do all sorts today as well i was going to use the stamps julie kindly gifted me i was going to do loads but of course i didn't get around to it so is there any blues any blues any blues is that blue or are my eyes deceiving me mm, might be deceiving me any blues in here mm -hmm. that's a kind of blue let's give it a go might look all right might look all wrong i don't even know where i'm going with it um Maybe just down there. Let's burnish it down and then see what we think. You can't really see it, can you? It doesn't make any difference. <laughs> Not to be put off. <laughs> I shall carry on. Oh, I've twisted that over. It's all gone cockeyed. Let's put a little bit there. That's over the T of the collect. Okay. Let's cut that off. I don't know if I like it or not, but time will tell. Time will tell. Um, let's put a little bit down here. Right, let's see what we think. Is that even straight? Is it heck? Is it heck straight? It's well crooked. That could be better. Let's, let's just see what we think of these. I'll cut the ends off. And if we don't like them, we'll just pull them off. Burnish this one, I think. Well, you can't really see them, to be honest, but they are on there and they do make a difference. And I'm going with them. I'm absolutely going with them because I really like them and it's another thing of interest. So, I think that's about it. It needs some ribbon in it, but I don't know where the blue is. I could put just ordinary string in it, I guess. My hands are all inky. Here's my stringy stuff. Let's make a hole in the middle. What does that measure? Two and three quarters. What's half of two and three quarters? One and three eighths. Is it? Yeah. One and three eighths. I hope you've all watched um, Keong making her ephemera folder. It's gorgeous, actually. Um, I don't know. I... I don't have a need for an ephemera folder. I like to get all my ephemera in boxes, you know, little plastic boxes, tubs, I guess you'd say, and just get them all out. And I, that way I can root through them all. Let's just put this through. I'm not going to put one of those little ones on um, because I don't want to obscure Mr. Bird. Let's just tie a knot on that like we've done with the others and jobs are good. There we are. Right, that is me done for today, I think. And we haven't really achieved a whole lot, but I think if you were to go away and try these, you'd have great fun with them. They're, they're, they are fun. You know, there's like no sort of pressure on you to, to do them is that all the ones from today yeah okay so we've got the blue tit and the robin 
they're nice aren't they uh we've got the little blue tits did you see that one jen had i done that one before you can look at it it's gorgeous isn't it that one's ripe for some um design tape on it yeah that's not going in edith without design tape uh we did that one with the two butterflies and then i did these two this morning before you joined me just to see if i could still do it so those are the uh, that's the haul for today this as i say it's going to get some design tape on it before the next time that you see it and that's kind of that so blimey i've been on nearly two hours you've done really well to hang on um oh julie does that mean that you've got a video up honestly there's, it's been a, there's been no videos going up. I've been tearing my hair out. Um, that's great if you have. Julie's got a video out. Everybody go and watch it. Um, so yeah, what's happening next is uh, at midnight there's going to be a new year. <laughs> If so, you're in Australia, in which case this is old news. Yeah, if you're in Australia, it's been and gone, mate. That's past. Um, so, you know, if you're signing checks or anything like that, remember to put 2022. Um, and make them payable to. <laughs> eh? And make them payable to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and make them payable to somebody. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to have a drink. And when I get up in the morning, I'm going to um, <clears throat> put all the names in the hats from people in the hat from people that have supported the group uh, either through the buy me a coffee or donations to uh thingy paypal thank you um and i will announce on the group who has won the prize is the tim holtz journal you know the one with the calico cover with all the stamps on it in the pocket uh, that is going to be the prize and it's not quite finished yet so don't expect it by the end of the week or anything because uh, it'll be so next year it'll be so next year um for those of you that are you know well i won't see any of you will i between now and midnight come on uh so i would really like to say sincerely thank you for all your help all your support but the the thing i am most proud of is the kindness that all of you have shown everybody within the group and within these live chats um you you know some people um they're not dependent on us that's wrong but they gain a lot from these little family meetings that we have more than you might think and for all the support that you show those people and everybody i'm very very grateful and extremely proud I'm so proud of you all. Um, so go on, crack on, have a lovely new year and let's hope it's a healthy one. Wealthy, that doesn't matter, does it really? Wealth, but health, that matters. So let's hope it's a happy and a healthy new year to you all. Thanks for all that you've done for both Mr F and myself. We're very appreciative and very thankful. Happy New Year. Bye. Happy New Year. See you soon. Bye, take care.